<laughs> Happy Halloween, Jamesy and Evers. We've got Nightmare Before Christmas on. Having an apple cider donut for breakfast. All Jamesy has his morning bottle. <laughs> Happy Halloween! We're going to get a pumpkin in the car. So, we tried going to a pumpkin patch yesterday. We didn't put up a vlog from yesterday because... <laughs> it was we, a failure. It's everywhere we looked. We just... We were helping out the Sakars at their house. Went to a pumpkin patch. It was closing in 10 minutes. I thought I broke my finger. <laughs> Went to a family party. I didn't break my finger. And... We just didn't pick up the camera enough to be honest. But it was kind of like... We were busy, busy. It was. A, it would have been more of a piecewise vlog than anything. Right. So. Yeah. So um, that is why we had to go to Jules to get a pumpkin, and we're carving it on Halloween. Which um, is great. Yeah, we're just making it's, it work. It's it's fighting Sarah in her traditional aspect because her entire life she's decorated it the day before. Things a certain way. But. Well, we're in charge. Hey, yeah, we're embracing it. We're in charge. We're in charge of this. <laughs> this is a pumpkin patch experience. Right? And these are good pumpkins. Like, look at that one right there. Is it? That's it. That's massive. But that's a nice uh, so That's got a better stem. stem. Look at the little cute twist that that stem has. Yeah, that's true. Okay, let me grab a there's cart. A lot of good ones. There's a lot. Of, oh, look at all those ones shunned to the side. Oh, you. you love those chips? He's helping. Did you see your name? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta go to register fire and work. I do that when we get a homemade taco dip Christine requested. All right, change of plans because we're city slickers, but we've never experienced a children's Halloween in the city. Yeah. So when we were on the way back from the jewel, we saw a bunch of kids and parents going trick or treating, and Sarah's like, oh, that's like the business trick or treating started now. And like, we live way in a more like condo apartment. Right. Set area. of streets. It's not like a block of just like houses. Or even like a block of like residentials and residential three flats like where yeah. Christine and Grant live just about a half mile away. Right. So like that would be even more like welcoming to door to door trick or treating. So I think now, since it's only until one, we're going to get James in his costume now. And 30. So it's like a two hour. So we are going to Christine and Grant. So we will get like the residential trick or treating later. But like James really is only one. Yeah. He's got a really cute costume though. So we're going to go trick or treating. But we'll start here, carve the pumpkin, get ourselves ready, and then so. head. <laughs> right, we're getting James dressed up in his full costume. And Our we're gonna... final costume reveal. Gonna see if he will keep these gloves on. First time he's wearing finger gloves like this. <laughs> what the Not heck? so sure. <laughs> <laughs> you like him? <laughs> what do you think? Our first stop is our local Starbucks. Today they're doing the Little Lakeview Monster Crawl. So these are all official stores that we can go in and trick or treat at. You did your first trick or treat, James. We did it. They thought he was a Teletubby. <laughs> James won't like. He keeps looking at all the kids. Oh, you got candy in your bucket. <laughs> Ooh. Now we're at Big City Optical. Isn't that so fun? You literally just say trick or treat and get candy. That's how it works. <laughs> so I'm adult enough for this baby, but I'm not adult enough to get the fancy adult bags they're giving out for the bank. Oh. <laughs> Alright, they're going off to the Lakeview Athletic Club. See what kind of candy they got. I don't want to jinx it, but he's kept his gloves on. And his hat. And his hat. He's been wearing hats more often, so maybe. This is turning out to be a lot more fun than I thought. There's so many people in it. Like, we've never done city. It's just so bustling. Yeah. Trick or treating before. <gasps> and James is like <laughs> staring at everyone's costumes. Like he saw Buzz Lightyear and he was like, no way. Oh, 
Wow. Got the trick or treat in that one too. Ooh. <laughs> Whoa, look at that hair. <laughs> wow, look at that hole. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Woohoo! You thought your first Halloween was gonna be a year ago, but this was a pretty good first Halloween. Alrighty, these two are starting the pumpkin. Eating some fiesta dip. Got spooky sounds on. And I am making my mom's chili recipe. So Christina wasn't sure if her, like if she was gonna be able to cook the chili tonight because we are going there for dinner because of the state of her kitchen. Um, so I said I would just make it and bring it. Well now she's been able to make it, but I was kind of like, then I got my heart set on making the chili and like having leftovers for the next few nights. So I'm still gonna make it today. It is our Halloween tradition. Eat chili there and then eat chili the next few nights. So you start with a medium onion, olive oil, salt, pepper, and I have minced garlic, but you could use shaky garlic. And then a pound of whatever meat, potatoes, whatever you wanna use. I've done like rice cauliflower before. Um, my mom's recipe would typically just be ground beef. We actually bought impossible beef, which I've never cooked with before. So we have impossible. Um, I've done potatoes. You could really use any any meat that you want or any like anything that'll give it a little bit of heartiness. Even though this is impossible meat, I have not browned meat in so long. This is so weird. What's in there? And get the creepy guts out. You got it. Oh, oh goodness. I got it. <laughs> That's what it sounded like. All right, then up next are two cans of Brooks chili beans in sauce. It's very important that they're in the sauce. Um, and we got spicy. And then you throw in a decent amount of chili powder, stir it up, and then you wait until this gets bubbly until you add the next ingredient. Okay, we're bubbling, so I added in a can of tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and then probably like half a tablespoon-ish of oregano. And again, stir it up and then wait until it's bubbly. Oh, when your child's just big enough to have a sucker. <laughs> He had his first one last night at our family party and he, he did really well with it. So. He saw one today and was like, I gotta have it. We're somewhat cleaning this pumpkin. Before we get the designer's eye on there. And Sarah designs oh, it, I cut what, it. What kind of face? You saw one down the street that you were like classic y with like a rounded tooth out of, or like the rounded moon out of the eye or something maybe. Oh, okay. Okay, so we got a can of tomato sauce. At this point, even though it's a little hot, take some out of your spoon and taste it and see if you need to add any more like oregano or garlic. And then throw in red pepper flakes. And I feel like this is kind of like up to you how much spice you like. Um, we're like, James actually really does like spicy, so I'm not gonna go nuts with it, but I am going to be generous. Another thing that you can taste for is chili powder, um, which I added in a little bit more, and then the red pepper flakes. I am also gonna put in some diced green chilies. This is something that my mom wouldn't do, but over the years it's just been something that I've liked to add, especially like since being plant-based, it gives a little extra flavor. So I'm adding those in now. And then the last thing that you add before you just let it cook for like, kind of as long as you can, but like a guideline would be two to three hours is tomato juice. And my mom's recipe calls for three cans. They're typically like four ounces each. Recently, I've just been getting this like massive thing of tomato juice. I use it in other recipes. Um, but I find that sometimes like my chili is either like too, too like liquidy or it is too, it's not liquidy enough. And so I kind of like being able to just like have as much juice to add that I want to. It's also something I might even add at the end after it's cooked a long time. Sometimes it cooks down. Um, every time you cook with tomatoes, it kind of like the canned tomatoes might have more juice one time than the other. 
And so I feel like this, this element is kind of like up to your like chili preference if you like it to be juicier or like soupier or if you prefer it to be chunkier. So I usually just get this big thing of tomato juice. Our, ours is actually pretty, pretty soupy so I'm not gonna overdo it. So here is our chili. The important bit is to not cook it with the lid on. I'm gonna put the lid on after, like when we leave, just so it stays nice and warm. I don't wanna put it in the fridge as hot as it is right now and this Dutch oven will keep it nice and toasty so it won't go bad just sitting here. Um, but while you cook it for however many hours you can, do so without the lid. All right, here is the design Sarah has drawn out. So she always draws it and I always cut it out. So we're going with like a classic-y kind of look this year. Single tooth on the bottom, rounded moony eyes. And we didn't even plan it, but it looks like there's like almost like some hair growing out with these veins on the pumpkin. How's it going? <laughs> Put James down for now. It's no red. We're at the final stages. I need to clean. I don't like to leave all this because to me, that doesn't look how I like the pumpkins to look. So, <laughs> like you want it to be like the whole shape through. Yeah. So like it's a really just thick pumpkin. Yeah. I need to cut back all this this inside part. I already did for like the eyes. So like this is how much you would see on the eyes, but I cut them back like like into very technical very technical so i need to do all that it had like no guts it had like zero guts it's like, all thickness that's it this was it not the sucker that was, that was it guts. well we're getting there here's jack wow the pumpkin cake. it looks good I, it's so classic I know. so we'll get a candle on this later tonight yeah I don't know if any of our front ledges are big enough or if we can like put it on, oh, maybe that table over there. Yeah. I don't know, we'll see how we display it. Come on, look at these trees. It doesn't last very long in Chicago, but for the few days and weeks or two that you get, super gorgeous. Look at this view. It is a beautiful day. It is 53, sunny. All the trees are changing, and now we're headed to the south side for more Halloween fun. Yep. Maybe some more trick-or-treating, definitely some chili eating, dips, bonfire. bonfire. Yeah. We've made it safely to Christina's, and you know I'm really happy when there's a dip party. Luca's been putting Cheetos in the onion dip. I mean, that's a pretty good idea. Salsa. Taco dip. We'll go see. The star of the show. Fiesta dip. Pumba, <laughs> you cozy. <laughs> All right, these are Sarah's dogs. Perfection. Looking delicious. Grant? Yeah. Right? <laughs> We're back after trick or treating, reading some books. Cool. Right? Yeah. You love the five little pumpkins. Creepy Kate's got matching jammies on. Woo! Uh -oh. Ready? Cheese! <laughs> Daisy. And 
Now you're going to car seat. Have a happy, happy birthday to you, to you, to you. Let's happy, happy birthday, birthday from all of us to you. Hey! hey. Are you vlogging me? Yes. Just... Peter's got a herd back. Which is troublesome leading into a three race ah. weekend. I just pulled this out to show that Peter's eating ice cream and he says that vanilla is the best ice cream and he's wrong. And when will that be not crooked behind? What? Huh? I have Radio Gaga stuck in my head. Radio. The day he was asleep and when he wakes up, it'll be his birthday. In an hour, his one year birthday video is dropping. I don't think we've told anything about anybody to anybody or anything. I've, I've mentioned it before, but like we've mentioned that I was editing it recently, but it's one second of every day of James's life and it's to a song and it's, it's a. It's just great. We know what our goals are, we know what we hope to accomplish, and believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>